good morning to you we are still in the month the happy new month mood welcome to rhapsody of reality spirits to lord today topic is today is friday 2nd of december 2022 and today topic is we hot always to pray praise to lord it is important to pray so let's start our devotion with prayers this morning father we thank you we honor you we appreciate you we thank you for waking us up healthy and strong thank you for this beautiful day that you have made oh lord and we will rejoice and be glad in it father we thank you for this gathering thank you for your presence we are about to study your word give us wisdom give us understanding of your word in jesus name we pray amen praise the lord hallelujah once more welcome to rhapsody of realities praise the lord and today's topic is we ought always to pray Luke 18 verse 1 says, And I speak a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Someone once said, I have so much to do in very little time. It leaves me with very little time to pray. So in the morning, I pray for only five minutes because I always have a busy day. That's a big mistake. Never skip or reduce your times of fellowship with the Lord or other things you might consider important. The wisdom, guidance, and strength you need for sources comes from the Lord. Always remember that. When you have so much to do, that is when you need to pray. In fact, you will need to pray more at such time because you require spiritual help to achieve results in a shorter time and the best way instead of feeling too busy to pray a wise person will say i have so much work to do that i will need to give more time to prayer you receive a boost in your energy and inspiration which will give you speed praise to lord jesus said my heart always to pray and not to give up look at in this one Letting us know that we were made to pray. It is something God built within the human system. In other words, there will always be the need for that spiritual fellowship with God. Through such fellowship, we can build, encourage, direct it, and obtain the Lord's mercy, grace, and intervention in our circumstances. Praise to Lord. Not only should you desire to pray, you should pray always. We don't pray just because we require a miracle. We pray because we are in a loving relationship with a real loving Heavenly Father. Praise the Lord. Pastor, I've said it all. It is very important to pray. It is very important to seek first the kingdom of God. Before you start your busy day, find time to pray. Yes, it is important. That is how you so said. It gives you the speed. Yes, nothing can go wrong. There is no way you can put God first and you will lose your job. Or you put God first and you lose whatever business that you are, you are, you are supposed to go to. No. God is God. Yes, it is good for you to build a relationship with him. It's good for you to create time to pray. And that is how you build a relationship with God. And it makes you to be victory. It makes your life not to be ups and down. You see some people, they, they, they use the word, um, I know the trials are coming. When good things are coming, they feel that trials are coming. Because why? That is because you don't pray often. When you pray often, there's nothing like ups and down. Your life only moves forward and not backward. Have a relationship with God because you know what? Satan does not have, Satan does not get time off. Yeah, that is the truth. Your adversary does not get time off. So you must not have time off. You need to be fervent in prayers. That is how you overcome in this world. Praise to Lord. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confession together. 
Dear Father, thank you for the privilege and blessing of prayer. Thank you for the opportunity of fellowship with you, loving and gracious Father. You are my source and ability, and I am confident that my future is secured as I remain yielded to your spirit and guided by your wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. For that study, you can look at 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17, James 5, 16 to 18, and Ephesians 6 to 18. 6 verse 18. When you have read the plan, you can look at 1 John 3, verse 11 to 24, and Ezekiel 47 to 48. To you have read the plan, Revelation 6, verse 1 to 10, and Job. So, so at your leisure time, please go through the scriptures and you've been dead blessed in the name of Jesus. So what a glorious time we had this morning. At, we learned something profound this morning. God bless you. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And I want to use the opportunity. If you're here, you've not given your life to Christ. What are you waiting for? This is an opportunity for you to do so. Yes. So all you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me, and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. If you pray this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible, get to know God is and who Jesus is and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And bombard yourself with faithful messages such like this. And you feel believe in church and worship. Praise the Lord. What a time we had this morning. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so. So every time I upload a video, you'll be first to notify. And please leave me a comment for a private, if you want a private prayer session, whatever you need. Just shut me up. Yes. And on Facebook, follow me at Flora Cooking Channel. Please, if you come across this video, please share it. God bless you as you do so. Let's pray before we go. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you. We thank you for your profound word this morning. Indeed, we acquire wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And Father, now we understand that it is important to have a relationship with you. And Father, we thank you for our going out and our coming in. We thank you, Father, for our daily bread. Thank you for sufficiency. Thank you for giving us victory over this world and this system. For in Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. Thank you all. You have a fabulous day. I will see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.